Welcome to Corona Fine Art. In this video, I will be sharing some of the projects that I have been working on recently. And some of these projects are nature related, like my nature journaling workshop that I have uh, in April, at the end of April. It's going to be at a beautiful wildflower preserve. And I'm going to be teaching different techniques for nature journaling. And I am so excited because this is the first nature journaling workshop that I will be doing. I've been doing a lot of research, reading and working in the field. Also doing nature journaling myself to prepare for this workshop. And as part of this workshop, I'm going to be providing my participants some sketchbooks. So here I am working on making some hand printed sketchbooks. And I carved out on a, some linoleum, some rubber linoleum. I carved out a flower that's one of my favorites. And it's actually growing in this wildflower preserve that the workshop is going to be held at. It's called Trillium and this is the carving of it. And I printed it on some nice rice paper like this. And here I'm just showing a little part of the process of hand printing a linoleum print.
So as soon as the prints are done, I just title the work and sign it with pencil because that's usually how prints are signed. And then I'm going to be pasting them and framing them with some red paper and putting them on these neat sketchbooks for people to record their observations and to do the activities that I have prepared for the workshop. Lately, I've also been spreading my artwork and posting it in different locations, including the coffee shop locally where I've sold numerous pieces. I've sold some print and some original paintings. So I'm very happy to share my artwork at local coffee shops such as this one. It's a lot of fun to have people look at my work when they're working or just relaxing with a hot, co hot coffee. And then this project that you're seeing now that I'm working on is something that I started very recently as well. It is a color pencil drawing that I'm working on. Um, I love drawing female figures, so that one is inspired by the springtime. Here's another one of the shows that I'm participating in. My college is turning 250 years old. So I posted some paintings that I did from my Puerto Rico series at the gallery there at the school for their reunion weekend. So I'm very excited about that. The opening is going to be very soon. In addition to all these projects that I have going on, I wanted to also take some time to enjoy what's blooming outside. And here I'm working on a plain air painting. And I love going, traveling to the coast and seeing the azaleas blooming. And it's one of my favorite things to capture in plain air. So I took some time to work on a painting outside and also worked on other paintings in other different locations. And here I'm just showing you a little bit of my progress on this piece. And I also worked on it inside afterwards. But it was really fun to see the beautiful bright colors and different sizes and shapes all over the parks, the houses, there's always something really enjoyable to do for me. Now here's another piece that's a little bit more on a serious note and that I've worked on. I want a gram to create three different pieces to show how COVID-19 impacted the Hispanic community and I will tell you a little bit more about this project. So I wanted to give you a closer look at the 
painting that I'm working on. Uh, this is a commission that I'm working on for a COVID-19 initiative. Um, I want to express some of the ways that COVID affected the Hispanic community uh, through three paintings that I'll be working on this month. This is the first one out of the series. And on here I've laid down the groundwork with some watercolor paints and I have some watercolor pencils here that I'm going to be using to add a little bit more definition to some areas and a little bit of more contrast. And I've chosen a color scheme that is somber and minimal. Um, so as you can see, I've only used the ultramarine blue and like cerulean blue and I've used some umbers and dark browns so that was my goal to use, use those, mainly those two colors and white um, and I want to add some white color pencil here where I went over the area where it was supposed to be white for these connections cables that are connected to her body on to the machine so this painting is supposed to be somber and very sad because there were a lot of people who died from COVID and they died alone hence why I use the word alone here um, in Spanish because a lot of people weren't able to have their family in the room with them especially at the beginning of the pandemic because they consider it very dangerous, contagious, so they didn't want to endanger other people and expose other people. And that's why they didn't let family members be with those that were sick. And in this painting, I'm expressing just that. This elder woman, elderly woman, is in her deathbed connected with all these cables to the machine and dying and actually she's you know close to death she's taking her last breaths and she's thinking about her family and that's why i have here a depiction of what their family would be seen as a grieving, sad, because they're not able to spend any time with her before she dies. And unfortunately, um, this was the case for a lot of people. They passed without any of their loved ones present. So here she's by herself, the monitor showing no heartbeat, and we have a medical doctor here that is coming over and just pronouncing her dead. I wanted to give a little bit of explanation of what I was thinking about when I was creating the story through this painting. So that you could have your own interpretation as well, but also learn a little bit about my thought process. In 
definitely see my process as well through this video. And mainly, I have time lapse because it takes a very long time for me to do a painting like this. So I can't show the entire process in real time because that would take a lot of hours of recording. But I want you to see the process through a shorter video, through the time lapse. And I was commissioned by the Arts Council to create these pieces that I'll be creating this month. And then they will be for exhibit. at the Arts Council Gallery. So these are watercolor pencils. So I can dissolve this pigment if I want to as well. But I wanted to go through and add some to find to find new details to finish her. some of these elements and I wanted to show you in real time how I do that but in a minute here I'll go back to the time lapse and then I'll show the, the piece all finished as well. I'm planning on framing it too. So now I'll be able to show you all that as well. So hopefully you can share with me if in any way you've been affected by the pandemic. You can let me know in the comments below or send me a private message detailing some of your story. I think part of the healing process is to have our stories heard. And that's one of the reasons why I definitely want to tell the story of a lot of people that were affected by the pandemic because they were really impacted. Horribly. and I'm going to go back to the time lapse.
and here are the paintings hung up, exhibited alongside other artists that participated in this project, the COVID-19 Art Initiative. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy seeing what I've been up to. I've been really busy this year, so I'm very thankful for the opportunities out there. I hope that you subscribe and join me for future videos.